Hey you guys, what is up? It is me, Rachel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I achieved this top knot bun on my locks. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and share with everybody you know. So you guys, I had planned on doing a um, hair tutorial on my Halloween look. I was Wilma Flintstone. So if you haven't watched my Washington DC vlog already, go ahead and check that out so you can see how I wore my hair on Halloween. I wore it in a bun, but I had a swoop. Um, I had a swoop bang. I had planned on recording, but I like got carried away. Like I waited too long to get ready. And so it was just a hot mess. So <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys how I achieved this bun. Like it's so cute and I wear it a lot now, especially now that my hair has gotten longer because it takes me so much less time now that I have length on me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. How did I forget to mention this? Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. I think I'm at like 560 right now, but thank you guys so much for this. Like, this really means a lot to me that you guys watch my channel and support me because like the support that you guys give me is just like unmatched and I just love it. It warms my heart. So thank you guys so much for that. So for this bun, you don't really need much. You just need some water and some hair ties and some bobby pins. I've mentioned these hair ties in many of my videos. Um, these make it a lot easier for me to tie my hair up versus the traditional hair ties like these ones that really just like lose their stretch over time. So you're gonna need two of these in order to achieve this look. So first of all, let's check out this ponytail because I am just now realizing that I can do a ponytail now, you guys. Like, what in the heck? Like, my hair has been growing for a while now. Like, I've been noticing that it's been, got, it's gotten longer. But, like, I can actually go outside and wear a ponytail and don't feel, like, weird about it. Like, I used to feel weird about my hair sticking up, my locks sticking up. But, like, now they're falling in this ponytail and I'm just, like... <laughs> so happy you guys like so when I do this I'm gonna just give it a good spray down because it's a little little dingy what I do is take about half of my hair the front half and tie it up with one of the ties. It's like this. Then you take an additional tie and I kind of bend my head forward so I can gather all of the hair And I take it and put it around both sets of hair, if that makes sense. So So now all of it is up like this. So sometimes I have I want to like make this tighter. So I'll like Stretch it out, take it, and then tie it with a bobby pin. Make sure it's tight. I forgot to mention this at first, but not only do you need these big hair ties, but you actually do need these small hair ties just to wrap this over. Take this small hair tie. Not all of my locks are um, in this, but it's okay, I'll put them up later. I now take this hair tie and fold all of my locks under like this. Just kind of try to grab them and 
put the hair tie over it. You see where we're getting at? We're getting there. But you can put another hair tie over it if you want. You don't have to. You can probably like just go ahead and skip to the uh, body tint portion of it. But I like to do another hair tie if I can. And y'all, this is kind of like a messy bun. I don't be trying to get it perfect or anything because it just it looks really cute when it's messy. Okay, so honestly, like, if you wanna go like, if you wanna wear your hair like this, you can. I'm about to start doing more styles that I haven't necessarily been comfortable with in the past, but like, since my hair is getting longer, like, I have to rock this. Like, I have to rock this until my hair gets too long and I can't rock it anymore. So, let's go ahead and move on to the bobby pin, bobby pin portion of this tutorial so just place the bobby pins wherever it needs some folding And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, y'all. So uh, I usually just take my locks and just tuck them in the back. I don't usually need bobby pins for the back because they'll just tuck right under. But you can be done, like right now, like if you are not a person as big on your edges, like it doesn't really matter. But me, y'all know I'm dramatic, so I gotta do some swoops in this joint. What I do is use my uh, water and my edge booster and just spray the top, spray the top, Whew. That's not regular water, that's rose water and it's strong. I get my bottles mixed up. <laughs> I just grab some, smooth it in my hands, smooth it in my fingers, and just sleep. Y'all know the drill? Let it sit. This is the finished product, you guys. This was so easy, very quick. I hope this helped y'all, like any of y'all that are trying to figure out how to do a top knot bun. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.